Disgusting. The lies continue and it's nasty. Nasty work. Very disgusting stuff we're seeing. Javante Davis, I don't know what it is about him, but y'all continue to lie. Time to debunk some of those lies. But first, if you're ordering UFC 300, should be a great card, stack card. Use my link in the description for UFC 300. It's at no additional cost to you. Today is April 13th, Saturday. Pack card. If you're ordering it, again, it does help the channel in a phenomenal way. If you guys utilize the link, again, at no additional cost to you. Now, let me get into this Javante Davis lie. And you guys can follow the conversation on my Twitter at Boxing Ego. I put breaking news, Javante Davis, black eye in the Frank Martin camp claims have now been proven false. What is this all about? So there's a post that garnered significant views. And that's what happens when you're dealing with Javante Davis. You attach, especially if you put some negative news, you put Tank's name with some negative with a negative twist and you get a reaction. So 412, this post came out 150,000 views and it's a picture of Tank Davis with a shiner, a black eye, right? And he look, he's making this face. So this is clearly being done to engagement farm. The caption reads, Gervonta Davis has suffered a badly bruised eye during training for the Frank Martin bout. The fight takes place on June 22nd in Texas. Many fans are questioning Gervonta Davis's skills. So, complete lie. People are questioning. I mean, first of all, so if a person had a black eye, your skills are questioned. We've seen Floyd Mayweather, who's defensively the best, you know, him and like guys like Pernell Whitaker, Floyd Mayweather had a black eye after sparring with Errol Spence. So that's that's all off top is a dumb statement for real boxing fans. Sometimes that happens. You could get a black eye from a headbutt. Just because someone takes a picture of a black eye. This is how I know a lot of y'all don't know boxing. Just because someone were to take a picture of a black eye doesn't mean it came from punches. You can have you can get elbowed in the eye on accident. Somebody swing and hit you crazy. You clash of heads. I mean, multiple ways to get a black eye. So this already proves that you don't know boxing. You don't respect boxing. Second, it says his fight with Frank Martin is now in question. And people are questioning his defensive skills. I had never even heard of this until it was sent to me. Only problem with that, outside of the obvious stuff I've already named, you see ESPN ringside. Four days after his knockout of Leo Santa Cruz, Gervonta Davis is back in the gym. So you see it's the same exact picture, same exact outfit, and this comes from 4-11-2020. Yes, April 11th, 2020. So whoever posted this did not do their homework. I remember seeing and posting and see, that's how I know I'm the best in the business and it's not even close because I don't make mistakes like this, right? So this, this post is literally from four years ago, four years ago, because right now we're getting ready for Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. That's April 20th. Today is April 13th. So literally as of this post, they posted this 412 2024 got 150,000 views by lying to people and you see the original post of the black eye was from the Leo Santa Cruz fight aftermath horrible stuff i mean i would hate for this to be me now you guys also see like the fullness in Javante Davis's face right pay special attention to his eyes outside of the black eye aspect of it I already knew this was fake from seeing it because I, I cover boxing at a high level and I remember posting about this in real time. But furthermore, this is an actual graphic and picture, a recent picture of Gervonta Davis in camp for his next fight, which is said to be, hasn't been fully confirmed and made official. It's said to be against Frank Martin, right? And you can see 
his face looks considerably slimmer. He has braids. His facial hair looks different, you know? So you're seeing a completely different look. This is an actual recent picture of Javante Davis as opposed to that last one. Now, here's another big key that that last caption and post was cap. You notice underneath Javante Davis's eye, he has this teardrop tattoo. I'm shitting tattooed tears. So you see the recent confirmed photo from Team Davis, Team Javante Davis, and you guys can see this tattoo teardrop that he got by his eye. Go back to the original, hey, Tank suffered a bad bruise, yada, yada, yada. And look, by his eye, both eyes, you do not see a tattoo, meaning it's an old photo before Tank Davis actually got that tattoo. So easy for me to debunk dumb and foolish claims like this. I mean, so many ways. I, I think you don't have to be Matlock to Angela Lansbury, Murder, She Wrote. You don't have to be a true detective to understand how stupid this original post is and like do the homework, do the forensic file ego and see that this is not a, a current photo of tank davis not this one but this one and again the real ones who've been here for boxing instantly recognize this from the leo santa cruz fight aftermath and i'm showing you that four it says four days so this is literally after that was tank's first pay-per-view the man has been on pay-per-view a gang of times since then he's been on pay-per-view hella times since then so even more stupidity when you think about how old the photo is and that people are trying to like really pacify this as if it's like some current photo. I don't know what it is truly about Gervonta Davis in particular that has dudes in their feelings. Tank, don't be bothering nobody. He's training, he's keeping to himself. And yet and still, people are coming out with outlandish lies, libel, hate and various things and i blame boxing fans I, I i understand some people are going to be confused with this statement the reason why is because u.s fans have the power to help or hurt pages content creators and youtube channels and facebook groups by spending time on sites that are clearly not for boxing. They're not pro boxing. They never deliver any good news. They're gossipy, you know, a bunch of clickbait titles, fake news, fake videos, trying to engagement farm for views. So yeah, 2024, Boxing Ego, I'm blaming you, the fans, because you guys, the fact that you even, the, the post got 150,000 views and i understand some of those people may not know no better but some of you guys could have done the same research that it took me to do which was very little to determine this was cap that post really should be community noted x twitter youtube all these social medias need to get better with people putting outright lies out and still having pages and not getting like any type of demerit or consequence when you're really just lying just outright lying so again the pages that continue to lie they're going to keep continuing to lie if you guys click on the lies it's that simple so if you want real news come to boxing ego if you want to grow the sport and you're here to help not hurt the sport then support the real many options to support my channel below but i had to make this video because it was sent to me and ego myth busters had to debunk another one nothing wrong with javante davis stay tuned to the channel for real boxing news old pick fake caption fake news